it's another perfect day weather-wise for sea kayaking. Uh, almost no swell, almost no wind. The forecast is, is good. The plan today is to land on another good bunch of the Carberry's 100 Isles. Some of them will be smaller rocks, some of them will be proper islands like the Schemes and uh, Horse Island. The conditions are perfect, no swell, very light wind and the uh, forecast is for that to continue for the rest of the day. So. Number 23, Seal Rock. Very small little rock. Twenty-four seal rock west. No sign of any seals today. This is Iran Gila, number twenty-five of Carberry's Hundred Isles. So we're now a quarter of the way there. Um, the rock around Long Island Bay is it's such that there's long, narrow islands a lot of the time, which gives lead to perfect parking spaces for kayaks, like that one there. Thank you for watching the video. There is a huge amount of work that goes into editing these after coming off the water. Um, so if you have any feedback from me, it would be great if you want to leave uh, a comment below. Let me know what's good, what's bad, if you have any suggestions, anything you'd like to see or anything you'd like me to talk about. Let me know and I'll do my best to accommodate. One thing I'm going to do in these videos is talk about safety. Almost everything I'm wearing, everything I have around me is here for safety in one way or another. Um, but so rather than talking for hours about every single piece of equipment and every aspect of it, uh, I just touch on one thing each, each video. One of the most useful things you can have is this uh, personal locator beacon. I'm not sure how much it costs, so I'll put it in the description here. If I pull that, pull that flap and press the red button there, that sends a satellite signal out to a control headquarters someplace. Within 10 minutes, the lifeboat in Baltimore will be launched. I could find me, it gives a, lo a location, an updated location, um, and within 10 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, the, ba the, the Baltimore lifeboat could be here to, to save me. Uh, this does not mean you can go out in reckless conditions or without the other proper equipment, but it is a fantastic backup to have. It's well worth it. Every every sea paddler should have them. This is the west end of Hair Island, and there's just some lovely coves and cliffs to explore around here. It's really a stunning. Some very nice rock climbing there. Oh, he's is number 26 of Carby's 100 Isles, right at the tip of Hare Island. So here's number 27, Iran Era. Uh, one of a cluster of islands just off uh, Hare Island. Nice spot. Number 28, Ilan Gauna, right beside uh, Hare Island. And on Hare Island is uh, a sailing school which Kevin runs. So uh, if you want some place really nice to sail, to learn how to sail, give Kevin a shout. Hare Island Sailing School. I'll put the link below. Straight ahead of me is uh, East Scheme and those trees on the high point 
They're fantastic landmarks. Uh, you can see them for miles around. Number 29. Yes, I know. Exactly. I mean, this beautiful island here is called East Scheme. There's another one just out west. Strangely enough, called West Scheme, and it's beautiful. I mean, there's a beach on that side there behind me in the old abandoned village, and on this side, another beach. So, one east facing, one west facing, but it's just gorgeous. But also down here, you can see so much rubbish. Um, all of this is fishing industry, almost all of it nets and buoys and fish boxes and stuff like that. So so the whole idea of leave no trace is fantastic, it's really, really good. But I think it actually doesn't go far enough for those of us who are lucky enough to come out to these wild places. We should actually be doing something, something small every time we're out to bring back some bit of rubbish that's out there. Um, if somebody sees you doing it, that normalizes it and encourages other people to do the same thing. So picking up rubbish when you're out for a walk or for a paddle, it's a good thing to do, no matter what. So yeah, go beyond leave no trace. It's only a small amount, but you know I can bring that home and recycle it, and it's that little bit less here. That was East Scheme number thirty of Carberry's Hundred Isles. We're clocking them off today, aren't we? out at the tip of West Scheme and it's, it's amazingly calm out here today just a small little wind chop uh, tiny amount of swell This is uh, West Scheme, number 31 of Carberry's 100 Isles. And another private island, looks like, with a nice house and a pier and a lovely little beach and nobody living here. What's the point? Now I'll head due north across the bay to Horse Island. That big one in front of me, it's the biggest one today. And the furthest from home. The shorts, more rubbish. Uh, 31 Horse Island, nice beach. North side of Horse Island here, not especially inspiring right along here, but this was sold a couple of years ago for five and a half million. There's some serious money here, and there's building work going on. We've got to the trouble of painting the pier wall. I mean, whoever paints a pier wall loads of money, but are they happy? This island even has its own vicious guard dogs. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> <No> vicious dogs. <laughs> You're not so much vicious dogs, are you? Hello, hello. What's up? Have you been left for a long time?
crazy. Yeah, these two lovely dogs. It looked like they've been left here as guard dogs to deter people from coming here, but they're the most biggest softies. And they look neglected and a bit skinny, so not great at all. Let's we'll see what I can do for you guys, will we? Up here. Jump sandwich. Oh, lovely. Cool, that. Hey, hey, you fella. Come here. Cool. See you, dogs. Paddling away now from the forest island. These two dogs are following me along the shore trying to keep up with me, the poor things. I'm on the way back to Shirkin Island now after another 25 or 30 kilometer day. Uh, I've bagged another 10 Carberry 100s. This really is a fantastic way to explore my own backyard. I really am getting to know the area. And uh, yeah, I am so incredibly lucky to have this as my backyard. Uh, this was all done today within my 5k lockdown range, which is pretty special. Back home to Sharkin. If you're still watching, well done, fair play. Thank you very much. It's very, very hard to edit these down to a little five-minute video. There's just too much to show you. Uh, don't forget to give us some feedback. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. See you next time.